Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So today we are going to work on a very interesting project. We will have a look at something called Deoldify. So Deoldify, you know, helps you uh, bring your old photos, you know, to the light. Now suppose if you have uh, an old photo, 100 years old photo or 50 years old photos and you want to bring that, you know, into the life, you want to uh, colorize those photo, how you can, you know, uh, use an open source model you know, to colorize your image okay so we are going to have a look at deoldify okay which is an open source uh, model available you know that that works across the data like you have images you have videos you know you can uh, colorize those uh, data okay they have image colorizer they have video colorizer and different set of modules that you can use to colorize that so what we are going to do we'll build a streamlit application okay so and that too on a CPU machine. So that will work on a CPU machine with recent configuration. We'll create a streamlit application. We'll use Deoldify to colorize your images. Okay, you upload a sample image or give a link, and it will colorize that image. Okay, this is what we are going to do. So if you see currently, okay, I am on Deoldify GitHub repository. It's an open source. Uh, you can see what it says. The easiest way to colorize images using open source deoldify for free you know and they have uh, uh they have your you know a hugging face web demo they have replicate available on replicate as well using some apis you know for images and videos you can also use the space hugging face space they have a great new application you can also run this on a windows machine you know you can download uh, through dotnet or exe you can read about it now suppose if you want to build an application and host it somewhere on server okay and it's completely open source if you want to build a commercial application on top of it how would you do it now the easiest way is to create a web application and deploy it somewhere right for color image colorization or video, video colorization right this is what we are going to do so we have so they have very good documentation as well you can read those documentation you know what i want to do is to create a streamlit app how we can integrate this in an streamlit application that you can deploy it okay on cloud or you can run it somewhere so let's do that so it's very easy to install as well what you have to do you have to clone this github repository you clone this github repository create a virtual environment in anaconda or without anaconda as well okay you just create a virtual environment and install all the requirements like pip install e okay hyphen e that and dot in the same directory so what i have done if you see you see it over here i already have cloned the deoldify github repository and i have a virtual environment where i installed all the dependencies they have a requirements file as well so they also have some collab notebooks where you can try it now what i have done i have activated my virtual environment and i am here in this vs code okay if you see i am currently on the vs code and i'm going to create a new file that's called app.py in the root directory so don't create under deoldify okay you see there is a deoldify directory and what i'm going to do i'm just going to create in the root directory i'm just going to call it app.py and now here i will write all my code for the streamlit application okay so the thing is we'll have a text url option where you put the image link or image url and then it will you know do the magic okay we'll use deoldify for that so let's see the first thing we have to do we have to do import streamlit and ht this is the first thing that we need and then need fast ai okay it's a framework for deep learning fast ai based on torch okay so you can use that as well import fast ai and now what i'm going to do i'm going to say from the oldify dot visualize because we have to visualize that okay not visualizer by the way visualize import and i will import all the modules all the classes from that so just to start Okay, from deoldify.visualize. Now, if I click on this deoldify, okay, you'll see they have something called visualize.py. Okay, so I'm importing this file, by the way, okay, in my app.py. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the function for, or let's don't write the function, let's first create the streamlit application, streamlit uh, thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, okay, uh, give me an input text area. So I'm going to say input text, ht.text input ht.text uh, input and here I will say enter your URL 
enter your URL and now if I'll say if input text is not known if there is a value inside that input text and then I will have this uh, ht dot button and I'll say you know something like colorize or something okay and now what we can do input text is not known let's first you know so this image that image that we are going to take from the link okay input text now let's run this so how do we run a streamlit application so we do streamlit run app.py and now you will see that this will open uh, open in your browser localhost 8501 which is the port 8501 and we have something called enter your url here we'll enter the url and colorize okay now you cannot you need a public link okay dold5 needs a public link that can uh, take as an input and colorize your image so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this website called image imgbb image bb here you can upload your image let me upload this albert einstein image okay so i have this albert einstein uh, einstein image i'll upload let me let me copy this. I don't need this entire thing. Let me open a notepad. Okay. I just need this image source. So let me just copy this image source. And I will come over here. I will just paste that image source that I have uploaded a public uh, kind of a repository or a kind of a database where you upload your image and they will give you a link. Okay. And enter your URL and I am going to upload the uh, through streamlit and I'm going to use ht dot image to show that image now let me hit on colorize and you can see this is the this is a, one of the example of the image image that we are going to take so this is the Albert Einstein image and it's an old image and we are going to use doldify to you know uh, colorize this image we'll bring this image to the life we'll also try uh, multiple images in this video so what I'm going to do now okay this is an streamlit kind of a UI, but let's make it little uh, uh, good. So the, the thing is, I want to use the complete width of the UI. So I'm going to use ht.setPageConfig. This would be your first line if you are build, creating a streamlit application. So ht.setPageConfig. And I'm going to use layout equals. And this will be wide. I need a wide layout. Now let me run this again. And now you can see I'm utilizing the full width of this EY, okay, or the, the, uh, the tab currently I am, right, earlier it was container, I don't want a container, I want to use the full width of the page. Now if I click on the colorize, you can see it's showing in the, this side, the left hand side. And I will talk about columns as well, we are going to use uh, streamlit columns to show the result. Now this is okay, now what I will do, let me also give a title, so ht.title, you know, image colorizer app and let me and you can see image colorizer app okay and let me click on colorize and you can see very simple right and now what i will do now okay this looks good now let's write the function so i'll write the function for image colorizer so the function goes like this define let's call it image underscore colorizer or something okay and then we only need to pass our url here so that url is that going to be the parameter input parameter and now what i will do i'll have a variable called colorizer by the way colorizer and in this colorizer i'll use this module because we have from doldify.visualize import everything and from that I'm going to use going to use this function called get image colorizer. Yes. And then I'll say artistic equals true. Colorizer artistic equals true. And then my source URL is going to be the URL. So I'm just going to say source URL equals URL. Source URL is going to be the URL. And then there is something called render factor. For so they have a minimum fact render factor of 7 and the maximum 40. 
okay you have to be on the higher side if you want a better quality image you know colorized image how well you want to render that image okay the quality of rendering when you are rendering those uh, source image okay so the i'm going to use this something called render factor which is from 7 to 40 and for this case let's call it 35 for example render factor okay and this also increases the uh, infrastructure cost as well if you're running if you want to increase it if you have you know big size images or multiple images you might require a gpu machine to process that with high render factor value okay but i have a single image and i'm just trying to test it out i think this should work let's see so render factor equals to 35 and now they have a feature called watermark and i want to keep this true okay this is basically to tell people that this has been done by ai okay so watermark equals to true and now if source url If source URL is not none and source URL, it means it should not be empty. Yeah, this is correct. If source URL is not none and source URL not equal, okay. Now I'll just let's first print that in terminal. What is the source URL? I want to I want to see that in my terminal. So I'm just going to do source URL. Let's print it. Now we need the image path. Because it will save in that one of the directory here. I'll explain that. So I'm going to use colorizer variable that we have defined above. And I'm going to use this function plot transform image from URL. If you read this, okay, let me click on that. Uh, plot transform, you can read that uh, entire function's parameter. It say it takes a URL which is a string over here, you see. It has a path test images image png where you upload, it saves the image from the link in the test images folder. You see we have a folder called test images over here. You see image.png. We have a result images that I'll also talk about in a bit. Now we have this URL. So URL equals to source URL by the way. URL equal to source URL. And then we have render factor. Render factor equal to render factor. Then we have compare equals true. Let's keep compare equals to true. Compare equals to true. And then we have watermark equal to watermark. Okay. That's it. Let me give some space over here and then what we're going to do now, let's print the image path as well guys. So I'm printing the image path and our if statement is done. Now I'm going to say else if we get some kind of error or something, right? So I'll say uh, that can be due to your uh, input URL if that is not from a public source or there is any issue with the image source. So I'm going to say print uh, provide and you know image URL and try again something like this. Okay. And now what we have to return here guys, we have to return the image path. So let's return the image path. This is our function. So what we are doing here, we have image colorizer and in this image colorizer we have using this get image colorizer method. We are having an artistic style which is true in this case and we have a render factor which is 35. A watermark equal to true so people are, people are aware that this is being done by an AI model. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Okay. Let's come down and if you see we have this uh, input uh, text where we are showing this image okay st dot image input text now what we, what we, i want to do now okay let's do one thing let's first uh, divide this in two columns so we'll divide this in two columns so i'm going to say column one comma column two and column one comma column two this will be st dot columns and in st dot columns we are going to say one comma one and this will be with column one with column one ht dot info this is going to be my info and i'm going to say your image that's going to be image and i will just use the same code here to just to you know uh show the image and in with call two in with one with call two will show the result here so i'm going to say result equals image underscore colorizer so this is this is the function that we have you know used on top you see image colorizer and here i'm going to pass the variable called input text so i'm just going to say input text result and now i'm going to use ht dot success let's use a status message ht dot success something like your colorized image okay this is going to be that and now i'll do ht dot image now in ht dot image we have returned this image path in the function this is the folder guys result images where the result are you know being stored so what i'm going to do now i'm going to say result images result underscore images and i'm going to show that from the directory so image dot png okay this is going to be saved here you see image dot png this will be overwrite okay when we run this 
Now if I run this program, let's run this program again. It's already running, so I'll do a rerun. Once you do the rerun, let hit the let hit the colorize button here now. Once I hit the colorize button, you see in the left hand side we have something called your image, the input image that we are uploading here, right? The that image that has been fetched by this URL that we uploaded it, uploaded it over here on image BB. Now on the right hand side you will see the result. You see your colorized image. This is the colorized image, guys. No, see how beautiful is this, right? You are running it on a CPU machine in an streamlit application. We are using DOLDFI to do that. You can do the same for video as well. Please go through their documentation and you will see that they are just available on video as well. So let's also upload a, a few of the other images as well, guys. So the that that you see, we have we are using this image BB. You know, you can also use Imgur as a, a photo repository. You know, they will give you public uh, link. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload some other images as well and see what kind of response you know we are getting, what kind of quality of colorization we are getting from you know this app that we have built using Doldify. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this. Alan Turing old photo, okay, uh, one of the pioneer in artificial intelligence. You can see this is Alan Turing's you know photo uh, decades ago photo, and I'm going to see how uh, Doldify colorize this uh, particular image in this case. And what we are doing here, guys, if you see, we have cloned the Doldify repository. We have installed all the dependencies after creating a virtual environment, you know, and then we are we have created this app.py where we have where we, we have developed a streamlit application having an input uh, image URL and then we are using this module from Doldify.visualize. If you see this visualize.py file, that's what we are doing, guys. And they have you know several Colab notebooks. Okay, if you want to use uh, try this out on Colab, you can use Image Colorizer, Colab. You know, Artistic. They have video as well. They have. They also have training code. You want to train on your custom data, you can also do that. You have video colorizer as well. Now you have old videos, 50 years, 100 years ago. You have recorded some videos. You know, if you want to bring those into the life with color and artistic color or cinematic lighting or anything, you can use these modules to do that. Just change the function there. Okay, you are using image colorizer. Just do it video colorizer. You can have to go through this notebook file to import that module. Okay, now you see this is the colorized image in our case. You see this is the old photo of Alan Turing and this is the uh, photo that we have got with the clarity. Now we have clear picture of Alan Turing. So this is a very simple application guys, right? You want to extend this further, you can extend it. I extend this further as well. I'll give this uh, a code in the description of this Streamlit application. I'll give it the GitHub gist, okay, of this uh, code base. And then I'll also give you the link of Doldify. Okay, you can colorize video, images, and whatnot, right? So just see the response that we are getting. Okay, and it requires an image URL. You can also have a file uploader where you can upload an image as well. So this is what I wanted to do in this video, guys. Okay, I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe. That's all for today's videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.